Hey special fam. So lately Ramsey came up with a new thing and it's kind of dangerous. He would put his shoes on, go to the door and try to open the door and leave. So I had to take some safety measures and let's go through them. Hey special family, welcome to another video. I know I'm in the hallway, but I just wanted to show you guys something. If you're new here, hi, I'm Autism Mom, and on this channel, we talk about autism and everything in between. If you'd like to be part of the family, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So I had to take a few safety measures in my house, and I wanted to show you some of them. So let's look at the first one. Ramsey has learned in ABA how to open doors. And as you guys know, who've been following me, following me for a while, Ramsey loves water. I had to put a safety lock on my bathroom door. Why? Ramsey loves water so much that one day I'm doing dishes. He opened the bathroom door, stuck his hand in the toilet, played in the toilet. When he was done, went to the sink, opened both of the hot water and cold water, filled the sink up. I'm washing dishes. I have no idea what's going on. Flooded the bathroom. Water leaked downstairs to my neighbor. Next thing I know, I get a knock on the door. I open the door. My neighbor is like, there's water coming from your bathroom to my bathroom. And the ceiling is leaking. The walls, water is coming from all over. Run into the bathroom. Ramsey flooded the bathroom with the sink. So... $500 later, I've learned an expensive lesson. $500 later. So this is how we handle that. That is a child safety lock for doors. Got that off Amazon, put it on there, and now he can't open the door because when he turns, the knob just turns in circles. You as the parent have to put one thumb here and the other and a finger here to hold the knob and turn it like this. So this is how we took care of that. So now he can't open the bathroom door anymore to flood my bathroom $500 later. Let me show you the next thing. So this is my dresser. In my dresser, I keep the lotion and his medication. He doesn't go in any other other draws he only goes in this top draw with a lotion and the medication is so after messing with the lotion twice smearing it all over after emptying out the medication bottle because he's been getting medication so long that he knows you have to stick the syringe in the bottle and in his case he emptied out the bottle so this is what we put in now this is a child safety latch for um draws that he can't get in so when he pulls it won't open any further than this so you as the parent now when you open it you open it slightly push down on this tab and it'll open all the way so that is our second safety measures i'll show you the third one so you guys know when i was sitting there crying because ramsey messed with my lotion and i just bought it and the medication so we got the tab now Every time Ramsey's home on the weekend, I take him out for a drive or we go for a walk. So now when he feels like he wants a walk, he'll just get up, unplug his iPad from the charger or take his iPad, put his shoes on, come to the door and start turning this thing, pulling. And I'm standing there like, what, where you going? You leaving? What's happening? Are you leaving? And he's just pulling at the door, pulling at the door, pulling at the door. So guess how we fix this? So he doesn't know to open this yet, but I'm not taking that chance. Let me show you what we put as a security measure. So look at this. I have this hair. It has some paint on it, don't worry. This is a safety lock. How this works is like this. So you fold it down. 
I push the door in a little, down, and it locks. See, I can open both of them and it won't open. And it won't open. The only way this opens, so even if he does, he won't be able to open this because I literally have to push the door in with my body weight, pull, and then it'll open. But if you just lock it, this thing is like solid. It it doesn't open. You have to pull, pull, and then it'll open. So pull sideways, pull upward. Then it'll open. But even if somebody were to break in from out there, they can't come in because this thing is solid. And this is a steel bar right here. So that's my next security or safety measure. And I have an alarm, so yeah, we don't play that. So I do have an alarm system, but this is the biggest safety measure I had to take. Please don't laugh. I know it looks like a little jail, but I had to. I had no other choice. Let me show you. Oh. So I live in a small condo and this is my patio. I have a screen door. Let me show you how Ramsey gets out of the screen door. Literally tore a hole right through the screen door. And when he goes out, he opens it like this. Like the door doesn't work or something. Anyway, let me show you my patio. So this is my patio. Don't laugh, there's a reason for all of this. I even made it beautiful and put some lights in. See, colored lights, cause he loves the lights. So let me tell you how this happened. First, I only had a chair and ta two cha tables, two chairs and a table here. Then I added the hammock, he loves his hammock. Then, Ramsey start throwing plants over there. So, this right here, this stand, had real plants on it. It's a three story from Ikea. Had real plants on it. What Ramsey was doing, taking the plants, and they had plants on the top, in each corner hanging over there. He would take the plants and throw them over the balcony, to the neighbor's balcony. One time, one of the plants almost fell in the neighbor's kid head. He's a three-year-old. He was two at the time. Very dangerous. And I'm not willing to hurt anybody at the expense of autism. So here's what we did first. First, I bought this from Ikea. It's just the top. It comes with the bench. Let me show you. It comes, it's like these crate style benches and it has the top part where you can hang plants on right there and it was so pretty and that's all we had it worked for about three months and for about three months this height worked this height was perfect then ramsey figured out that he would stand on the bench and throw the plants over the height not only the plants strip naked and throw his pampers and his clothes over there too the neighbor kept complaining kept complaining so when dad came home i told him we have to figure out another way how to do this while i'm talking to dad he took the bubble bottle the big bubble with bottles and threw it past dad's face like over to the neighbor's porch because the neighbor's porch is a little bigger than mine's so it's twice as big as my porch the bottom porches are twice as big as mine so my uncle said why don't you try this he has this at his house and he got it from home depot so we went to home depot try to find a matching color and we hung this up with zip zip ties so this whole structure everything you see here is with zip ties because we're not allowed to permanently put anything so everything is with zip ties. So let me show you. As you can see, we have zip tied everything. So 
this is what we came up with I love planting but my plants don't survive because Ramsey would pick all the leaves off one by one shred the leaves or he would throw the plants over when he couldn't throw the plants over anymore he started shredding the leaves so some of my plants live in the hallway some are bald as hell so he started killing them picking the peppers when they were little picking the tomatoes it, it was just crazy I had to stop planting altogether but this is my little plant table where I do my plants and yeah so this is the setup I know it looks like a little cage but I had to do it like that to keep him safe and keep the neighbor safe because he would stand there and try to lean over which is also dangerous so this is what he has to work with right now so this is his setup so guys that's it for today's video I wanted to show you the safety measures that we took and maybe one of these things can help you I will link the links in the description below so that if you need it for your special need kit to keep them safe you can use it thank you for watching today's video and i'll catch you in the next bye